there, this is my channel Shy's Designs and I'm Cheyenne. I started this business because I wanted to stay home with my babies and make money while doing that. I'm here to breathe life back into furniture and make beautiful pieces affordable again. But this time, I'm here to show you guys how exactly I managed to build an open shelf for my dresser. And if you stick around, I have some huge news in the end. Let's get started. To open up this video, we have a six drawer dresser here with an eyesore of a closed off shelf. At first, I wanted to take the window design off and paint it out, and that would have made it look not so dated and a little bit better. But I thought one way to elevate it even more was to make it an open shelf. Because there wasn't a surefire way to input these pieces of wood, I decided to rip out the cardboard and make do with what was already there because it was pretty sturdy and I didn't want to mess around with it too much. And while measuring, I push the card into the corner. Once I lift the tape measure from the area I was measuring, the card shows me exactly where my measurement should have been. I then started with the bottom piece because I wanted all of the other pieces to rest on it. I took my tape measure and measured the back length, the front length, and the depth on both sides just to make sure it was even. I did still definitely measure twice because you know the saying, measure twice, cut once. So I went for it and used my DeWalt jigsaw for all of my cuts. I then proceeded to do the right and left side of the open shelf I measured twice, cut once for each. I made sure they fit and then I moved on to my last piece, the back piece. I made sure that all of my wood was in place before I measured for my back piece to make sure it was the perfect fit. After I saw that all of my pieces fit quite perfectly I might add, I was shocked to be honest. I started to secure each piece with finishing nails, one side at a time to make sure each piece was flush and in its perfect spot. I secured them in the order that I cut them to make sure that they all fit exactly how they were supposed to. After securing each piece with the hammer, then I proceeded with my wood filler. There are probably easier ways of doing this, and I thought about using caulk, but I wanted to make sure it was sandable, and the wood filler is what I had on hand. So then I proceeded to fill any gaps with filler, and then I sanded it back to make the corners. This took a bit of finessing, but I think I accomplished it well enough. After everything was sanded back, I then painted the box and top coated it to make sure it was cleanable for the new owner. You guys, I am truly shocked at how this turned out. And if you guys have any suggestions on how I could have done this better, please leave them in the comments below. I always answer. Big news. Huge. 
You guys, I have some great news. I'm sure you might have already seen on camera, but after many months of trying, my husband and I are pregnant with our second baby. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> so happy. And another fun fact, I am actually on track week by week with my videos. So I am 13 weeks pregnant and this is my 13th video. I'm so excited to add a little one to this journey and to continue to learn and grow physically and business wise in the coming months. And as always, thank you so much for coming on this journey and coming on yet another adventure. If you enjoyed this video, happen to learn something, or have a few questions, leave them in the comments below, like, and subscribe for more content like this. I post every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you then.